Hello everyone, my name is King, and today we shall be building this barn. It's a nice and big barn, maybe a tad too big, I, I, I'm not sure, and the walls probably could use a little bit more decoration, but I think it turned out pretty good. There's plenty of space on the inside, with four different pens, one for each passive mob, so like pigs, cow, sheep, chicken, or whatever you want. Nice open area, a nice high roof, and a ladder up to the second floor where you can have storage. And it's a very neat design. It has the classic barn colors of red and white-ish, and the classic barn roof design, but it's actually pretty good. It's not like cartoonish in any way. It's fairly uh, rustic. And of course on the front here you can put windows in if you want or decorate it however you want. Maybe take this and continue the border all the way around. You know, however you feel like it. Here's the palette. We have red terracotta, spruce, more spruce, lantern, dark oak trapdoor, ladders, not not the birch trapdoor, just the ladders, birch planks, stairs, and slabs for the roof. So let's get straight into building it, shall we? I took I have taken the liberty of decorating the floor because I did not get to do that in that one, and the house itself is going to take a long time. And I also laid out, or set up the layout. So just pick a corner, place a block down, go five across, place another block, five across, another block, five across, another block. And it'll be four blocks this way with the five gaps, and then five this way with the five gaps. And just fill in everything in the entire grid, and then where the main door is, go back and place two blocks in. So that in between this block and the open gateway, there's a three block gap. And do that there, there, and there, and there. Because you can come in and out on both sides. And that just marks where the entrance is, as well as it'll be useful later on. So, starting things off, go to any one of the blocks and go up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then continue that, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do all the outside ones like that. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. So it looks something like this. Now on the interior ones, these go up 5, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, 8, 9, 10. Sorry, I counted that one off. But yeah, they all go up 5 on the inside, and then these main ones here, so this one, that one, that one, and that one, it goes up another five. So one, two, three, four, five. Fill it up. Two, three, four, five. Fill it up. And actually while we are at it, same thing goes for these. One, two, three, four, five, and lines up to that. Right? Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five. Right, this one goes up to here. And it's getting fairly tall, but you just do that all the way up. Like so ish. And I do believe, and I'll have to double check. Uh, actually, I'll double check right now. 
Yes, uh, you crossbeam all of the very top ones. So all of these uh, get crossbeams. Like so. And in fact, these get these extra, uh, extra wide crossbeams. Like that. So, I'm going to be doing that. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to fill in the wall to there. So just one, two, three, four, five blocks tall, red terracotta, all the way around. Even going past this, like so, like that. All the way down and around up to this, and same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna do bring all these middle ones up to there, cross beam them, and then put the wall all the way around, and we'll be right back. Okay, I have the walls up, and I have all of this cross-beamed. So now, what we are going to do is put in the windows and also the pens. That way the interior, or the first floor of the interior is done, and we won't have to touch the exterior ever again. So for this, we just break out the middle three blocks on every single side. Nice and simple. Nothing major there. A barn needs to be nice and airy anyway, so in my mind at least it makes sense. So we just do this, and we'll fill them in in a bit. For this, however, it's also fairly simple. You just mark this area off with um, fences. Yeah. It's fairly simple. Place it here, there, all the way down here, 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 and all the way down there. Now, on top of these, well, first, you gotta put in the fence gates. Like so. And now, on top of the fences, we're going to put uh, dark oak trapdoors. Now, this serves two purposes. One, it looks good. And two, a human can actually, or a player can, uh, do this. They can hop over, uh, fences, like so. But animals cannot. So, say you are putting horses in here instead. You might not even need the fence gates. You could just... I'm gonna regret that. But you can just put fences all the way around. Ride in with a horse, jump on over, put the horse in there, and then jump on out. And the horse cannot get out, but you can. But considering we are going to be putting uh, passive mobs in here like pigs, cows, sheep, etc. I'm going to leave the fence gates there. If you feel like they're not necessary, you can take them out you yourself if you want. It's entirely up to you. So placing all of, place, no, placing them all down, like so, that is the pens done. Now back to the outside. We are going to put fences all in these spots, 
like so. Nice and simple. Almost there. A few more. And then on the outside to decorate it, because that legitimately is the inside done. You could probably throw in some more decorations in there if you want, but actually, my apologies, I did this wrong. Uh, here, where the uh, gate meets the wall, we actually throw in some more of the spruce logs going all the way up to the wall, so five blocks up. My bad. I forgot. That's what I get for making something this big. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, that, that looks much better. It segments the wall up, gives it more detail. Yeah. And we'll get back to the interior because there's some things we need to do with uh, these walls before we put the roof in, or the second floor in. So yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. On the outside, however, we are going to put uh, stairs on all of these, and I'll go all the way around in a quick cut. And then here, we are going to be putting stairs like so. So go two blocks down from the wall, place an upside down stair, on top of it place a right side up stair, and then place another upside down stair. I'll do it two more times. Two blocks down, upside down, right side up, upside down, upside down, right side up, upside down. And here you just place one on each corner. And then you connect it all up with slabs. Like so. Now I'm going to put some dark oak trapdoors on the side of the windows so that it's mirrored like that. That's just a personal preference. As you can see on the side, I did the same thing just twice. So two on this side, two on that side. And I'm going to be doing that again, but again, that's personal preference. You don't really need them if you don't want them. Or you could have them on both sides. Like that. That would be perfectly fine too. Now then, I'm going to do that all the way around. And, but before I do that, fixing these entrances, you just do that top pattern, like before. You just carry it all the way into the inside. So on all three, like so. Do not carry this all the way through, only leave it up to this. We'll worry about that part later. So I am going to take this design, throw it all the way around, and I'll be right back again. There we go, all the way around, nice and safe and happy. Oh, forgot this. Uh, <laughs> there, there. Hubba dubba, hubba dubba doo. Yeah. There we go. Now then, uh, what should we do next? 
I think I'll set up the wall, put in the gates. So for this, go up two. And then, I do believe it's like, no, I think it's like that, right? Okay, so you go one, two, three, and then like that, I think. One, two, three, and then two, and then one, like that. Is that right? doesn't feel right. Yeah, it looks right. Okay. I guess that's how that works then. And then we are doing the same on the other side. One, two, three. And bring that all the way up. And then like so. A base layer of three. Then go over two go up to over one and then add one okay not bad not bad and then you just take this and connect it to that so you just a wall of three all the way across Same thing on the other side. Almost, there we go. All the way across. And almost. There we go. Now then. I said we were going to get to this before we do this, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, I don't remember how we do it though. I'ma go check. That does not help. Okay, here we go. Right, right, okay. Even here? Even there, okay. What is this though? It's a slab. Because. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we go here. There. 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 And on every single one that is five blocks high, aka this height, you're going to put a stair on it. Like. So, Oof. connecting them to every other one, every other of the logs. These, however, do not connect to each other. They only connect to the main ones here. Like so. And then these main ones connect only three way. They do not connect across. That way you have a nice big open area. And there. Now we are actually going to go all the way across like this, I believe. I don't think I go much further out, do I? No, I go all the way out. Okay. Okay, okay. So I lied. Uh, these connect here too. My apologies. Now everything up to here is going to be all slabs. Except for where these things are. This goes out like that. And then in the middle, this three wide middle, you just add one, skip two, 
and then onto the wall. So thus, it's this tiny little gap here. And the same on this side, actually. You just have a tiny little gap right there, right here, for the ladder. Now, if you want to add lanterns on all these small bits, like here, here, and in the middle of these things, you are going to add another half slab. It has this weird dip thing, but that way you can place a lantern on there, which is kind of handy actually. So do that, and then on these tiny little gaps, do the same so it has that tiny little dip, that way you can put a ladder on top. And we'll get to the ladder and lanterns in a bit. I'm just going to fill this in real quick. Okay, now that I have it all filled in, I can more easily detail how these, or where you place the lanterns work. So you just go in the middle of each of these beams. So here, there, 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 there. Um, one there, I believe, right? I think I have lanterns in the middle of no, no, I don't. Okay. Duly noted. So, not there. Just on the perimeter. So, like that. Nice and simple. Now, on the outside here, it's fairly simple. You just take the fences, go all the way around. Oop. Like so, and that's that. Now to do these, we are actually going to have uh, trapdoors going all the way down to the ground, like that. And a new feature, thanks to 1.14, is you can put ladders on that. So I'm not gonna be decorating that just to get this rush in a bit more, because I feel like it's fairly long, but you just do that on all of them, put ladders on it, or full blocks and put ladders on it, whichever one you want. Or you could even move the opening somewhere in this area and put a ladder on it. Or just don't use this top area. But that is literally all of the interior stuff done other than putting lanterns and ladders in places. So next up, we are going to do the roof. So I am going to put away all this and grab roof materials. Whew, this is a long one. Okay, so going on this top block here, you're going to put a piece of birch plank and go up out by one, and then on the bottom, put a stair like that, so it curves this way. On the top, you do the opposite, put one that way, so it kinda has this sorta shape kind of zigzaggy shape-ish. Then you place another stair, block, stair, another stair, a block, a stair, sorry I had to think for a second. This roof is a weird shape. So you do this and then replicate it uh, two more times. Then you place a stair, I do believe a stair and a slab, uh, no, I did that wrong. Place another stair, then a slab on the stair, and then full block, and half slabs, I, yeah, 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 yeah. So you take this, replicate it three times. Then put a stair with a half slab, then a full block, then 
kind of like a shifted full block by using half slabs. Then two of these. And then a stair with a slab on top of the stair. And then these go... out to here, I believe. Flip. So stair, half slab, half slab, half slab with the stair. So three half slabs and then the stair. And then you put the half slabs on top. And yeah, hold on. I'm a double check. One, two, three, that. Half slab, half slab, two, stair. Yeah, okay. Okay, sorry, I had to, my brain froze for a second. So going from the top of the, these smaller logs, place plank, plank, put a stair underneath the plank facing this way, stair on top of the plank facing that way, then upside down stair, block, Stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, slab, full block, upside down slab, right side up slab, two full blocks, stair with slabs, or with three upside down slabs, and then on top of the stair, uh, right side up slab, all the way across to the other upside down stair. And gives you that kind of design for a roof. And I do believe that means I did this wrong. Let's see. It'd be there and then up to there. I do believe I did the roof all kinds of wrong. My apologies. So I guess this is four blocks high instead. So just go around this one more time. Four blocks tall. And then the two up. Like so. Then one in all the way across to there with going in here where this is that should be two blocks tall i think this roof is actually slightly bigger than that roof but eh. oh that's also my mistake it's like that so it's from the top plank then it's three then you go up to over two and then three and then that my mistake. Let me just fix it. Is that right? Uh, there we go. That should be right. Yep, okay, okay. There we go. Everything's fixed. I fixed it. Now then, I am going to just take this all the way across, filling it all the way in to there, where it's one block overhang from that, two blocks from this, and then I think we should be good, right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We need this in there as well, as well as that. Okay. So for the interior of this bit, Going one block down from the edge. Go like this, go like that. Now I'm gonna have to break that to get in here. And it's just repeating this pattern, but up here. So there we go. Oh, <coughs> My bad, that was a sneeze. I'm not editing that out. The sneeze stays. Go right eye right side up. I'm all kinds of flustered now. The roof confused me. Ah. Okay, upside down. 
and then fill it in there like so and for this uh, making sure there's a one block gap between this and the next layer you do upside down stair upside down stair and fill it in on both sides like so and in fact we could probably continue to do this to here and that's probably as far as it would go or as far as we could get it to go I mean we could try but it's just gonna end up being like that which might look a bit better actually nah we're gonna stick with the design we already have made for now you could test out different designs for the roof and stuff how you see fit and yeah as you can see this one's slightly taller but uh yeah so i just gotta fill in the roof i'm actually going to do that in jump cut because i've been doing too many time lapses for this video it's probably gotten a bit boring but i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back and there we go the roof is in place so just a little side notes before we end this off since the roof is slightly taller than that one which was entirely my accident but i kind of like it it looks pretty good so slight things here oop, here you should probably throw it up a little bit just so it feels connected and same thing up here if you feel like it just to connect everything on the inside here you can leave this upper space in fact I feel like it's perfectly fine but on the outside here it kind of feels a bit disconnected to not uh, do something about it so just throwing that across there and it seems like I forgot this and there we go as you can see, I threw in the lanterns and the ladders. There's plenty of space up here, even with the, ex or especially with the extended roof. In fact, if you want, I'm not going to be doing an interior, but if you want, you could do something like this to like fill it in and does so it doesn't have this weird clash. So you could do that all the way across and you'll still have plenty of room. That is entirely up to you though. I'll let you choose on that. That being said, I do believe this is done. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe if you wanted to see more. And there's a playlist somewhere i think in the icard right about now if you want to see the other tutorials i've done i've done a few at least and uh yeah i'll see you guys in another video bye